Welcome to day seven at the World Series of Poker main event. With the final table in sight, the players slow down. With the players battling it through the night to make it to the final table. We've caught up with some of the remaining players to see how they've been getting on. Day seven of the World Series main event and I'm here with Lee Force. How's it going? It's going great. Down to the last 22, you must be pretty happy. 21 actually. The player Someone just got knocked out. Wow. So yeah. how does it feel getting that close? Um, it's amazing. It's a rush for sure. Pretty excited about it. What do you think your chances are? Um, I think they're very good to get to the final table. I have as much chips as I wanted to get to the final table, so it's looking really nice so far. How many have you got? I've got 4.25 million. Okay. So you're starting to feel the pressure now? No, no. It's it's just the same as it's been since the first day. It's fun. You do look pretty chill, I have to admit. I am. So when it's over, are you going you to be getting close to the end? Are you relieved that it's going to be nearly over, or are you um, want to keep playing? I definitely want to keep playing, for sure. I'm going to go go to casinos after I'm done here. Spend all your winnings. No, oh, no. <laughs> Wait, make more. Yes, definitely. Okay, well, I wish you best of luck. Thank you very much. Thank you. Cheers, man. Just hanging in there, but uh, trying to get in some pots. Didn't work out a little bit, so I'm down down a million, but I'm still at 2.6, which is it's it's not you know comfortable, but it's something to work with. Did you ever think you'd make it down to the last 21? Um, I. You know, it, it wasn't a realm of impossibility, but then at the same time, it's astronomically, like numerically, you know, beyond me. So it's it's kind of like a, you know, a big experience all at the same time. I just can't explain it, really. And uh, what do you think your chances are for getting to the final table? Um, right now, I guess numerically, like, I'm probably like 15th in chips right now. I'd say chances are probably like 2 to 1 or something like that. So what do you do for a living? Are you a poker professional? No, um, I just graduated from Duke uh, like three months ago, and in September I'll be starting at a financial consulting company in Manhattan. Wow, so what did you do at Duke? Uh, I studied economics, and I minored in computer science, and um, I don't know, I played a little poker on the side, like online. Um, I played home games. There was, there was a big home game at Duke that I played in that, you know, it was really fun to play and like you know help my game a little bit. So is that where you learn? Uh yeah, Duke is where I like you know learned um, poker. Like there are some guys there also you know who are really interested in poker. So like talk with them. You know, so another young kid called uh, Jason Strasser. He really helped me in like you know um, playing poker well and you know. So you guys were mates. Yeah, we were friends. He made it pretty far as well, didn't he? Uh, he made like 163rd or something. I don't know, like what? top 200. Uh, um, now that if you do win, what do you think you're going to still go and do your job in Manhattan, or do you think you'll turn pro? Um, I don't think I'm going to be a pro player. Um, I don't, that's not really my that's not really my interests right now. But uh, I don't know. I, I have no plans right now because you know I'm just taking everything one hand at a time. You know, can't get ahead of myself right now because you know I'm a dangerous spot. Anything can happen, and so I'm just you know trying to play every hand, like win pots, and like try to survive. It's been going so far. The main event trip for me. Main, main event. It's been going quite the way of the rich get richer. And chip leader Jamie Gold has pretty much been savaging players and with good hands. And they've been but lucky. Lucky on one or two hands, but most of the time they're just throwing themselves at him when he's ahead. What about that? He called an all-in bet with seven, eight, and then hit the hit the straight on the flop. Yeah, well, it's a bit of a, a bit of the old case of I have big chip. He raised. On the button, and then the small stack decided to get really brave with ace three, almost in a gut shot sort of fashion, ace business card. And by that time, he'd raised so much, and the guy had put it in, the guy looked really weak. He said, screw it, and called him with seven, eight off suit, and then the flop came four, five, six. The gambler. And, and so that'd be a lesson to all of you. Ace rag, not so good. So who would you put your money on? Uh... It's Jamie Gold or Alan Cunningham. I think Alan Cunningham is clearly the best player left in the field. But Jamie's running well, and he's got a huge stack of chips. So, And Jeff Lissandro, if he gets a hold of some chips, but I think he's, he might be playing a bit too tight. But Alan Cunningham is the big threat, and he's got a fair enough stack. How are you feeling after your uh, 74 it's hours stint at the World Heads Up? I slept for 18 hours, woke up, got pissed. Ten hours later, slept for another 18 hours, and since then I've been fine. Did you do it again? I spoke with Scott Fishman, actually, last night at the Bellagio, who's planning on doing it sometime in the next few months. Not even sure 
he's going to break my record. He, he thinks he can. And then I spoke with Phil Locke. It was all just rumor that uh, there was a rumor going around apparently he was going to double my record. But after I told him that he could suffer organ failure after 90 hours, he thought, nah, let's not do that. Yeah, so Scott Fishman's still going to try within the next couple of months. And uh, worked out tentatively. If he does try and it gets close, then I'll play him on uh, when he. I'll, I'll do the match on his 74th hour if he does break my record. So you will do it again. Well, if he does. It depends how far. If he, if he breaks it by two hours, then I'm going to crush it. I'll come back and do it again easily. If he breaks it, you know, makes it 85 hours, I'll probably give it a miss because I'm not a big fan of organ failure. Will you come to the gut shot to do it? Possibly. We'll see. I don't know. I mean, London, it's okay, but <laughs> yes, probably, probably. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. Day 7 World Series of Poker main event, and I'm here with Paul Wasika. How's it feel? Uh, it feels pretty great. Uh, I never expected to get this far, especially starting the day, because uh, I only had 700,000, and uh, now I'm up to 1.9 million. Still pretty short at the table, but, uh, you know, the dream's still alive, you know. <laughs> What's the game plan from now on? Uh, game plan from now on, it's hard to say because I change it up, you know, a lot. Um, but, you know, right now I'm just waiting for a good spot, um, picking some spots, um, mainly playing the cards, though. And uh, if I get a hold of some chips, maybe I'll uh, see some flops. And that's where my best game is, is uh, post-flop play. Um, so I'm hoping to get a hold of some chips so I can, you know, see some flops. Anyone on the table intimidating you? No, not at all. Uh, Jamie Gold, everyone seems to be <laughs> Uh, no, James is a good guy. Um, in fact, I really like playing him. I think uh, I have a good read on him, and so I'm actually most comfortable with him probably. Um, but uh, and I really enjoy playing with Alan Cunningham. Uh, we've played together a few times, and uh, you know, I haven't played much with some of the other guys, but uh, no, no intimidation. Did you qualify on the internet, or did you buy in? Uh, no, I bought in. Um, I'm a professional poker player, uh, mainly online, but uh, I do play some live uh, tournaments. Uh, have had some success at the bigger buy-in tournaments, but not so much at the lower buy so I'm going to try to stick away from those from now on. This will do a lot for your profile, though. Of course. <laughs> anyway, I wish you the best of luck. I knew you to go in, but thank you very much for your time. Thank you. Join us next time on Gutshot TV for coverage of the final table of the World Series of Poker main event.